Take five. There's a lot of videos um, on YouTube and websites and such by people who claim they have the secret of free energy. They generally involve quantum, resonance, cosmic or the buried patents of Tesla. They can be broadly divided into two camps. The outright scammers who have promised to sell you the secret for a reasonable amount of money and the desperate hopefuls who believe that they've almost cracked it, they've just got this one little engineering issue to solve and then it will surely work. Well, this is my uh, take on the concept. It's a free energy machine that actually works. Well, it's not really free energy, but it's certainly an unconventional power supply. It's currently generating 2.5 pathetic measly little microamps. It's not a high power supply. If you disconnect the ammeter, it will charge up to between 3 and 13 volts, depending on the uh, ambient conditions. So I suppose you could maybe charge a capacitor off it, wake a microcontroller up every minute, take some readings. 2.5 microamps, I have a hard time getting a microcontroller to even sleep on that. Oh, a bigger antenna. One nice feature it's designed is you can connect as many antennas as you want up to it, and each one will sum its output power. So, I need more power, get more wire. It's essentially a um, RF harvester similar to the old crystal radios. It's got a ground connection to the radiator. And it's got an antenna. And a lot more antenna. And more antenna. And even more antenna. If this was laid out outside, it might do a bit better. If I had any by AEM radio transmitter. I'm not really using AM radio at the moment because I find the most powerful signal that this thing is currently getting the most of its power from is this. It's a somewhat wobbly 40.7 to 40.8 kilohertz radio signal. It is in fact my light bulb. Yeah, CFL with a old power supply, very noisy. But it's enough for the antenna to pick up gets fed into the magic box here and that pops my 2.5 to 2.6 microamps of DC. It's a fairly efficient design but I think I can do better if I pick some better diodes out. Maybe I can get the thing up to a whole 5, maybe even 10 microamps which would put it firmly in can sleep a microcontroller territory. But this is not really a practical power supply. Whereas there might be some niche in extremely remote sensors, but it's really just a proof that this, uh, this design can work and can gather power enough to measure if not to do anything with. So, I'd say that's an interesting little toy. I will put the schematics up once I'm done fine tuning it. It's not too fussy about component values, I just grab whatever was lying around. Now I just put this up on YouTube and wait for the man from the oil company to come and take me away.